No way with the past hey. change. Oh, that was beautiful, mate. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Hello, welcome to Answers TV. My name is Jet Duxbury. He is... Mike Patrick. And that's what you sound like. And I'm so <laughs> glad you're in here. <laughs> Oh, oh man, that good to was be here, man. beautiful. Good to be here. In this video, we're going to basically explain a little bit about how you used the montage, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, Mike is fully endorsed up with Yamaha. Yeah. And uh, also happens to be an ex road compatriot of mine. We did some gigs together. Comrade in arms, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for real, man. Uh, so stick with us and we'll go through some of the patches and try figure out how you get to sound that good. Oh, good. Michael, what on earth? Should we start with that patch? Yeah, 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 we can start with that. We can start with that patch. So basically, there's a few things I need to explain. Uh, this, patch, <laughs> <laughs> this patch is, this is what I would call a performance patch. So I've got, what I basically, I'm trying to figure out how to, to explain it. Yeah. I basically have four different sounds. But the way the montage works is that we have a thing called scenes. So I can basically take snapshots of all the sounds. So I've got a piano, two strings, and a flute. So this is scene one. On scene one, I only, I've only i muted everything apart from the piano and one string. So when I play, I've got expression pedal to bring the strings in. So scene one is piano and strings. Scene two is just strings. Scene three is strings with a flute. So what I can actually do is jump between different scenes. There's eight, so when I'm, so it depends on the situation. So if I'm just playing normally, I'll just play. If I want to lift it, I'll go to the piano and strings, or just the strings. If I want to get really intimate and emotional, I'll do the flute. So. So it's like, I can basically set up all my sounds to basically jump between. Without changing patch. Without changing patch and without any cuts or any kind All of, seamless. Yeah, seamless. That's fresh. Yeah. So I used, the last time I had a Yamaha keyboard, I had an XS. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Motif XS. XS, yeah. And um, the scene thing, I don't think was around in It then. wasn't around. The, and the good thing is all the XS sounds are still in here, but there's a lot more like, new sound, I haven't gone through all of them. So I was a big fan of the XS. So a lot yeah. of the sounds I'm using are some of like the XS sounds and some of them are the new montage sounds. But the scene, jumping scenes is so that's like a one. Thing. So that's one patch where you've got those four scenes and you said you, do you have like four of those that you do most to get, or, or was, that, was that you explaining the scene bit? So this is just the scene bit. So I've got four sounds, but between the scenes, I basically mute. Yeah. Sound. So scene one will literally just be two of the four. Scene yeah. three is three of the four. And this, the magic, what you're hearing is the way that you control the expression pedal. Yeah. And just to drop, drop in, Mike and I played together on a gig where you were essentially just playing strings all night. Yeah, literally nothing but strings. And I did it on a Yamaha keyboard and it was, yeah, all strings. And he, you played all the pianos on the... All yeah, but it was the first time I'd ever heard that and it's such a beautiful... Just so in case people are saying, what one have you got on the floor there? So I've just got left foot is normal sustain pedal. Mm -hmm. So it's... And then right foot is strings. So it's like a FC7 pedal. That's it, the, um, yeah. Killer. So you can assign that to what's called expression. So I basically tell what sounds to, to kind of um, move with my expression pedal. Yeah. So that's my strings. Mm -hmm. So when, what you're doing, what most people don't do is when you're playing a song like... And then say you get to the chorus and you want to lift it, you bring the, like, the strings in. So it's like a really, right, okay. Really I'm trying to preempt the questions. <laughs> so that piano, what piano is that? And do you have a favorite piano in there? Um, so this one is, it's been a while, I need to check. It's been a while. It's been a while. So that one is the concert. The concert, The right. concert grand. And then you layer in the strings. Do you have a, a special string yes. cocktail? So what I might actually do is share a secret about strings. Please share. So I have two, when I play strings, I have two strings. 
So this is the first one, I'm gonna solo it. This one's called Quartet. And then my second string is called Warm Big. So one of them will always be very, this one's very airy. So it's almost like it's, it's got quite a bit of an atmosphere, but what I like to do is mix it with one that has a bit of a, sorry about my terminology, like a woody sound. Oh, so it's like a chord, so you can hear the strings. So when you put it together, you've got uh, like a, a really big string and a really kind of small quartet type string. And what happens is that while you're playing, you, if you level it right, you can hear kind of the wood come through. So if I turn the, the woody string up. But if I want a big sound. So, so yeah. I hope that we get an animation of Dan Bingham's face just going. <laughs> No, Dan would be, do that again, do that. Yeah, do that again. Yeah, do that again. Yeah. And then he will get, and Dan will get it straight away as well. <laughs> Dan will get it straight away. We, we played all together with Dan, and then I was yeah. telling this story to it. When you were playing the string intro, Dan would always be vaping. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like he was about to have a street fight because he was so into yeah. figuring out that beautiful. Yeah. And we'll talk. We'll do another video where you talk about the harmony. But oh, let's, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's stay on here with the montage. Cool. And then the flute. Oh yeah, the flute. So anyone that knows Yamaha keyboards, there's one flute sound called sweet flute. Like it's on all the, it's on the montage, it's on the motif, but if you ever, it's for me, I don't care what anyone says, I don't want to get aggressive, but <laughs> it's, the, it's the best flute sound on a keyboard, hands down. So um, I'll solo it, so it's. Um, yeah, with the strings. So this, it's like, you know what this is? It's just about your levels. So out of 100, so I've got basically one string at 62 out of 127. Second string is 77. The flute is at 83. So it's almost like the strings are there, but I want people to hear the flute. I'm so glad you gave people. If you've got a montage, go yeah. do those settings and then try play that. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But the a little bit, I'm with you on the Yamaha love. Yeah. yeah obviously, I'm free from all ties. Yes. But my whole thing I've always said about Yamaha, it's because I think they make the real instruments. Yeah, that yeah, they... literally. Can I play a few more? Yes, please, all sir. Right. They... So, go ahead, please. But that's that whole thing. Yamaha make great acoustic pianos, great yeah. acoustic flutes. Yeah. Great violins, acoustic guitars. And I feel that relationship with them means that they sample them and uh, they got it right years ago. It's so, it's honestly, it's so true. It's one of those ones where I do find that um, you don't really get the authentic sounds as much anymore. Um, and I'm just, I'm just going through trying to figure out which one to play first. But I've got a lot of sounds that I'm like, they sound so, okay, if, if you are, I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna play. <laughs> I was going to say that just, I think if you want to know how good a keyboard is, listen to the guitar sounds because they're really hot. Like, obviously I'm not a guitarist, but when a sound is really inspiring, I think it's really, it helps as a musician to kind of get... And they're so, the Yamaha, I feel they're mapped well that when you make the thing, it yeah. does the glyphs when you want it to. This is it, and this is it. And the so zone mapping is on point. It's really, really, and it's honestly like, I don't know any keyboard, but there's not many where if you hit it a particular way, you get like the yeah. so it means I can just play certain things and kind of accentuate certain notes and the velocity as well not only 
only that. Um, so this thing that everyone it's so laughably good, man. I love it. It, I, you know what? I actually just spend no, you hours. Man. Thank you very much. That means a lot. He it's is beautiful. like literally the best. <laughs> I'm just organ hype. Player. I'm just hype and snacks. <laughs> <laughs> like, just snacks. I hear you. Snacks, drugs. No, we've had we've had some we've had, uh, we've had some. It's, which which sample is that in there? Just so, so people know. Yeah, this one is the nylon slide, and it says "vel" at the end for velocity. Killer. Yeah. Wow. I like I said, I don't play electric guitar sounds on keyboards normally, but I found this one literally the other day, and I loved it. And it's got this. Um, this is called the super knob, that's what they call it. Yeah. And what you can basically do is assign any effects or any kind of parameters to this. So if I want it to do tremolo and distortion, I can assign that and then turn the knob and it'll like come Like a macro in. control, yeah. Yeah, so cool. I'll demonstrate. So this, I found this guitar sign the other day, it was cool. Tune. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean. So it's yeah, it's it's really cool because it's it's literally every sound is so inspiring. I mean, the keep horns, going. Just all the favorites. Yeah. All keep right. Going. I got all this. <laughs> Come on. All right. I've got this one for you. Um, Come on. All right. I love See it. if you know this. Okay. Thing. Okay. okay. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so have I got to guess it? Everyone knows it out there. But you see, my heart says Casper back in the day, but then I'm... It is uh, Home Alone. Is it Home Alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, you have to be I'm like... I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to be 35, I should know it. <laughs> yeah, but it, like I'm saying, like the sounds... One day I just want you... There's a great guy f from Core called Luke. I don't know if you've ever seen Luke. Ed... I don't know if I've seen him before. Mate, is he a, is he a we, film? I just want to get like a versus battle, like a oh, film theme battle. Oh <laughs> man, I'll, I'll take it very seriously. Yeah, I know you will. <laughs> is that, what sounds that? Um, so this one is literally, it's almost like a wood, the good thing is- Course Home Alone. Yeah, wood no, wind. Sounds I mean, I played it kind of bad, like. No. Yeah. This is what I do at home. <laughs> like, I don't do nothing else, but just literally play tunes. It's yeah, like, like literally just trying to get it in sync. But um, no, it's it's just the sounds are really inspiring, really inspiring. And there's a lot yeah. of, of sounds I don't normally play on the keyboard. And uh, so how, how many, have you got a seven? Yeah, this is a seven, uh, which What do is, you personally go out with, the seven? And mainly the seven. If I don't, if I don't have one, it will always be the seven. It's a uniquely primo feel, that action. And yeah, I was going to say the action is really, really, really like, even though it's not weighted keys, a lot of the time keyboard players are like, if it's not weighted, like I'm not playing it because it's uncomfortable. But even the piano, somehow, I don't even know how. It's... Nothing feels like that. No, actually. it feels really like the action feels really, um, really good. So even though the... you can hear like it's, it's really feels really nice. Right. Okay. Okay. I've got to ask some questions. All right. Go go. Um, if you were you said your father plays yeah and he has he's a young long time yamaha guy yeah. right yeah yeah this is it right and me like, growing up in weymouth <laughs> with my <laughs> with my switch card and i i ordered a dvd called triton extravaganza oh, no. I, and you know what's funny i know the one I you know, know which the, one i mean right I know the one. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. like, trying to learn about gospel music yeah not be in the church. Is there any sounds in there? That, you said it's got some of the old sounds. Are there any of those old ones that you use if, if you were to gospel it up? So... What do you think are the... Are the so I mentioned the, the lineage of your father. I mentioned yeah. how this, for me, Yamaha are the definitive gospel keyboard. Yeah, it is. And I, I might as well show you a trick. What is... It's almost like with gospel keyboards, it's almost like... Um, 
there's stuff that people start to do and it catches on. And so, um, and I don't know if many people know this. Let me just make sure I've got the right patch. All right, cool. So the normal piano. So normally in gospel, the good, the thing was, the reason why everybody loved Yamaha for uh, gospel piano was because when the motif came out, it was, and I'm just going to say it, the most realistic piano. And mm. it just, and what also started to happen is that the piano would start to cut through in a mix. Gospel churches, everybody plays loud. And when everybody's playing loud, your piano needs to cut through. And there's a lot of keyboards that when you play the piano, it doesn't cut through in a mix. And the good thing with Yamaha pianos was that they always, like when you're really playing it, it would just cut through. Um, but yeah, the piano is the best, but what people started to do, to do in um, the gospel world is they'll turn the release of the piano down. It sounds very strange and it will sound strange, but it's almost like people will use it as a, like a. In Christians are, yeah. yes. Yeah, so it kind of like the release is a lot shorter. So it just means that when you're playing fast stuff like. Like for like shouts and stuff. You know what I'm talking about, isn't it? Well, I, well, I, I watch a lot of, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so it's like, I mean, the piano itself is, there's like, there's certain sounds on Yamaha keyboards that in church, like. So release down on that. If you were going to choose a Rhodes that yeah. you enjoy. Oh, that's easy. Contempi. Uh, Contempi, the main one is R&B soft. R&B soft. R &B, I'm not going to lie, if I went to a church, um, the, one of the first things I would do is put R&B soft in the favourites uh, category. So I can always, like, it's, it's in my favourite category. So <laughs> like, like, you'll hear that. Erica Badu live. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Jill Scott. Always. Um, but then after a while... Can I you play it for us, mate? Come on. What's that there? I've got a few tricks to show as well, actually. I think we're, that's going to be another video. Okay, cool. This cool, is cool, just, cool. we're going to get few, but... The... Yeah, but what we also started to do is, the thing is with, there's so many roads that the R&B is great for panning. And then uh, I use one called Soft Cased. So it's almost like you've got one that hits quite heavy or Contempt. Is it Contempt? That's Contempi. the one, yeah. Yeah, so it's I, like... I remember trying to blag. <laughs> yeah, like Contempt, because Contempt hits quite hard. So yeah. if you have Contempt and like R&B soft together, you've got the warmth and the bite as well. Um, I'm actually working on something right now where I'm trying to like build my own roads and I've got like... The good thing is it's got a sampler, so you can sample... I've sampled uh, like a vinyl effect. It's quiet. So it's basically that. This is exciting me already. Yeah. And then you, I mean, I'm still working on it. And then I've got two roads and I've kind of tried to, it's a bit out of tune at the moment because it's meant And I can turn the vinyl down or off. And this is actually R&B soft and soft case together. So it gives it a bit more of a body. So yeah, like there's so much you can do. There's so much you can do. So are you, are you building patches for, is there, is there going to be a patch library? There might be, yeah, hopefully. The plan is to kind of get a, just, you know what it is? Being completely honest, a lot of people play keyboards for different reasons, but a lot of us play it for gigs and for tours and no one really knows what the great sounds are. So I really wanted to just do a pack where it's just, these are my go-to sounds for every situation, whether you're playing first keys or second keys. And these are sounds that have been tweaked and have kind of been looked at and you can just use them gig ready. So fingers crossed, there might be a pack. There might be like a little Yamaha montage pack. I'm so gassed. We had a, uh, Dave Tension the other week. Oh yeah, And yeah. I feel like we're just going to start this whole new market of just oh, man. genuinely great patches for oh, keyboards. So when that's out, you're coming back. Oh, definitely. We'd love to. We'd love to. I think that's just a, obviously, it sounds amazing in your hands, but mm. this is great. And check out our other video. We're going to do one on the YC61, mm -hmm. and we do some little secret tips, some chords. It's just a real treat to have you here. Oh, would you do pleasure. us the honour of playing us out? Please, I would Michael. love to. Would you like another string or...? Whatever your heart is telling you, sir. Okay, Because cool. it's, it's pure and sounds incredible. Thank you very, very much. Well, you know what? 
we started with strings, I'm going to end with strings as well. I'm it's my thing. Get either get out of shot. Just <laughs> let it breathe, man. All right, man. Here we go.